Today we're going to be looking at a program called URL Snark. Um, now, if you search your package manager with aptitude, you can do a search for URL Snarf, and you'll find that there is no package with that name. But if you were to do a more in-depth search with the D switch here for looking through description, you'll find that URL Snarf is actually in a package called DSniff, which is a package that contains a variety of um, networking tools. So go ahead and install uh, uh, DSniff and uh, then you'll have URL uh, snarf installed. We'll have to use sudo and we'll use sudo URL snarf and then uh, tell it which interface you're using. I'm using my ETHO which is my Ethernet card but that may change if you're using a wireless card maybe ATHO or uh, WLAN 0 or whatever your wireless card is called. I'll hit enter on that and it starts up. Now I open up my browser I'll go to google.com and as I start searching through the internet you'll see stuff starts coming up over here and it's basically uh, showing what links uh, I'm grabbing here so you'll see right here that uh, I've gone to google.com it tells me what browser I'm using here uh, I'm using a Mozilla uh, 5.0 uh, also known as Firefox 3.57 uh, it tells you what operating system and what architecture I'm running on. It even tells you what distribution I'm running here. So it gives you a lot of information that's very useful. I'll give you a more example here. I'll go to filmsbychris.com and it shows me here that it, that site, because of my news feed here, it grabbed uh, my Twitter links here and uh, my Films by Chris. So very easy to see uh, where someone is going on the network, but currently the way we're looking at it here is only showing um, what's coming in and out of my local network card. So to see what else is going on on other parts of the network, we have to uh, start grabbing everything from the network. So we're going to start up EaterCap again. And as I've shown you in previous tutorials, we'll do sudo EaterCap dash T for text mode dash Q for quiet. We'll use M for ARP mode and then we'll use our interface. My interface is ETHO and we're scanning the entire network. I'll start that up, I'll come back over here, then I'll go to my Nokia internet tablet, and I will just go to, let's see, I'll go to linux.com. So let me type that into my phone here, linux.com, I'll hit enter, and momentarily here we should see that information start to come up on our screen here. There we go. You can see right here that I went to linux.com. You can see the browser style I'm using, just as we did before. You'll also see that I'm running Linux because I'm using my Nokia N, uh, N900. And it tells you what processor I'm using. I'm using an ARM processor. So that's how you grab information. Uh, to see what people are browsing online on your local network. Now I'm going to hit Control C to kill that. We still have EaterCap running back here, which is good. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that uh, URL snarf command and I'm going to uh, use the cut command. So I'm going to pipe that into cut uh, with a delimiter of quotation and I'm going to use field 4. So I'll hit enter on that. It starts up URL snarf again. Now if I go to something like bashscripts.info, you'll see that our cut command cleans it up nicely. It actually, it's stripping away all the access information, so we're seeing just the links that uh, we're accessing. It's just a way to clean up a little bit, make it easier to read and sort through. So that's how you use URL snarf, uh, and it's also how you use it in cooperation with uh, EaterCap, and uh, how you use cut to uh, make everything easier to read. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Visit filmsbychris.com or bashscripts.info for more video tutorials like this, and I hope you have a great day.